Alright, as my last episode of today, do you guys want to see the finished product? I'm sure you do. Well, it's a bit messy, I will admit. It's a little bit all over the place, and that's because of the red still, mainly. Um, I went ahead and got myself all the bricks necessary for all four of the things, the cargo ovens and all four of the blast furnaces. Now, I understand that I really should have some stone bricks here. I don't go around to that, since it doesn't match. But, since we're not looking at that part right now, here's how it works. This runs, creating creosote oil and cargo. And, I don't actually have a way of reaching the blast furnaces without walking all the way around. The idea is that I shouldn't need to. There you go. Create steel ingots from the iron. Pretty simple. Now then. No, one second. And we're back. Now then. What we do, and this is finished, so this is probably going to get moved, so don't worry about the ugliness of it. We have coal coke pumps, uh, activation switch, and we have cruiser rem oil removal activation switch. The cruiser comes here into this chest. There's a pipe that runs under all of these using iron, stone and wooden transport pipes. Um, the iron ones are to stop them flowing backwards. They all come to this chest there through one pipe. Um, you'll notice the pipes above. I copied what I did in the first place when we activate this switch. Sends a redstone signal for the engines that pump out coal coat. They go into the furnace and both iron and coal coat go in through the top. It will sort them out into the correct slot. Coal coat will go into the coal coat slot, and iron will go into this slot. So just put them in for the top. We haven't finished yet. Like I said, I need to put a wall here, and this is probably going to move, because we need another pump to put in iron to this, and another pump to take out refined iron. So I'll have a pipe that runs down here, taking out refining iron, and brings it into another chest, sort of here. I might make a room for it. Actually, maybe on the opposite side, on the end here, it might have a room. There's all four switches. Um, activate coal pump, remove creosote creo oil, uh, pump in iron, and pump in uh, pump out refined iron. And the creosote oil and refined iron will come to a chest in a room through the two levers, and like one redstone wire, keep on jammed in, one redstone wire will run to the extraction, one redstone wire to whatever pumps iron, one underneath and one to the edge. Should be able to fit all that in. Uh, maybe by covering up the wires with, uh, what is it, wool, so you get like, you know, red or alloy wires, we actually colour them with wool, so they don't interact with each other. Right, let me just show you this, okay. Type in wire. Don't know what this is. What is this? What did... What did... What have I done? Oh. I've done something. Hang on. And while mashing keys, I actually... I've, I've done something else now. Uh... Oops. Can I disenchant my pick? I just gave myself a silk to pickaxe. I will go to delete that. Since that is what I'm Uh. What's going on? Oh, my pickaxe back though. I, I don't know what this is. I don't know what I've done. Anyway. So, why? So we can insulate it, say, white, so now only white wires will interact with white wires. Makes sense. But again, they can only occupy... Uh, let's do this so I don't die while I'm explaining this. They will only occupy one block. You can't put, like, the pink and the lime on the same block. It wouldn't work. But you can. Ah, oh, blue wire. Oh, no, uh, where is it? A bundled wires one. Well, let me type it. Go bundle wire, wire, cable, whatever. What you do with this is all colours combined. So 
I mean, as you can see in the graphic, you've got like blue, green, and red. Let me just cheat some in to show you what I mean. Alright, so. This is your bundled wire. You have, say, your orange one coming in, and your white one coming in. Your orange and white will not connect together. That's what you want. Well, you need to have them occupy the same block. As you see, I can't say... Now, there we go. Block. I can't say, well, white wire here, because the orange one is technically in this block. It doesn't work like that. Uh, we know this. But we need them to be in the same block, but that's what this bundle wire is for. So, that's that explained. Uh, let me delete these then, these cheat items. You Go. Remove this, and turn this off. So that's my plans for this thing. Um, this one's still going. We've got plenty of creosote and coke. So we're going to turn these on. I'm going to keep popping. We're going to see. Look at the go. Oh yeah, so we run over. Is this one? Wait for it. Wait for it. Boom. There it goes. And don't worry about this. It will actually freeze if it runs out, and this thing will stop. You're not going to waste your resource, which is very handy. Do not like wasting resources. Oh, and this is a different type of wrench. Um. You use it to correct iron pipes. My creosote should be coming in. Yeah, there it is. Let me get that. Build this back up. Up, up, up. Eat. And there we go. We're getting our creosote oil on the bottom of it. So this thing's empty now, so we can turn them off. Well, we'll turn, we'll turn creosote removal off. But we'll continue to pump out Korku, since that's exactly what we do. Actually, let's turn Kyoso back on. That's a bit weird. We manually have to get our refined iron suit off. There we go. We've got about somewhat five minutes left. Let's go see if we can transmute this, or at least add it to the table. I'm missing all the keys on my keyboard then. I have to press W. Like I said, I don't want to cheat. I've built this so I don't, you know, I don't use transmission, but if it can be saved, we should save it in an emergency. It cannot. There you go. There you have it. Them's the crumpets. Okay, so we'll build a block of steel. So we'll build a block of steel. Okay. We have our block of steel. Now just go get nine more. I'm gonna pause the recording, and in the last five minutes, we'll uh, we'll get ahead and we'll build the tunnel ball head, and we'll get it started the next episode. Okay, so I'll be right back. I went ahead and transmuted two stacks of coal, even though I just got done saying I don't like transmuting things, I see it's cheating, but I want to speed up this process. So now all the coke ovens are firing. They are all producing coal hoop. The coal hoop is then all of it will be pumped into these furnaces. The problem is only one of them has actually got iron in it. So let's go grab some iron and we'll fill them up. Do 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 We don't actually have that much. Uh, Turn some uranium into it then. Or some tungsten. Tungsten. Let's use one tungsten. See how much we can get from it. Do 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 do. Do do do. 16,000 DMC. Oh crap. That's a lot. Oh. One tungsten gets you a stack of iron. I did not know that. Well. Let's have a look. Well, it's two coal, then, for one refined iron. Two coal, one iron, for one steel. I think refined iron, for one steel. 
I believe the end one has an entire stack. So. so you need twice as much coal than you do iron. So it's three minutes a piece. So it takes six minutes to make every one refined iron. No, I said it again. I'm going to have to put like a post-it note on my screen. Don't say refined iron. It takes six minutes for every one. Stay right. Stay right. Oh, here it comes. Steel. So we got, what did we get? We got wheat, pumpkins. Don't we want pumpkins. No, we don't want pumpkins. Cocoa beans. We don't want cocoa beans. Pumpkins, we don't want pumpkins, we want beer. Yes, this is still going on. We want that beer. Let's plant it again. I know these are random. That looks like wheat. And... Hello? These are random seed bags. It's not crossbreeding. Ah, uh, crossbreeding isn't working. Where's that zombie? You know, it's possible there's an underground where the wire goes. I found an underground lake. It was swarmed with skeletons, by the way. Of all mobs, it would be... Aha! Yeah, let's put a torch down there, just in case. Nothing should have been able to spawn, but as you can see, I left it open, so... That pretty much brings us to the end of the episodes. Now, I think from there's going to be a lot of um, multiplayer with Cody going up. You probably already saw a lot. I'm going to try and sequentially do these, although I record them in bulk. So I'm try and release them so you're not seeing the same thing all the time. Uh, unless that's what you want, then sure. Okay, now we've got some fine dying going. Finally. <laughs> But, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I've also got some more amnesia to upload. White Knight. I hope you enjoy that. I certainly am. I haven't played it in a while, but I haven't played any game in a while. And, uh, once again, as always, I thank you so much for watching. And I hope you like this video, if you like it. Because it only makes sense. And it really helps. Oh. So, we built this behemoth of a machine. Uh, not on camera. I know someone said, yeah, you should do your building on camera, but it was very boring. I pretty much just transmuted a bunch of sand and bricks and whatnot. But, there you go. And, uh, hmm. oh, the notice board. Of course. And just before it gets night time, there you go. Take this one off. We've completed that. S. There we go, so it's just geothermal generator, the divine... I shouldn't have numbered them, because now it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, there we go. We've done the... In three episodes, we've done two of the to-do list achievements. Achievement get! And now, um... Yes, we have... You know, I always said, I don't want to, like, destroy the land from its beauty. Look at this big, chunky thing. It's going to get bigger, because... Like I said, this is very haphazard, just placing levers everywhere. It's just so it works, so I can get it going. Um, it's probably the biggest thing on my minimap, it seems. Uh, then again, most of my house is covered by trees. But anyway, I'll see you in the next episode. Alright.